Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Hi everyone! We're doing another episode of MechWare Online. And um, this time, this episode is all about uh, the usage of LRMs. Um, so today I'm going to be playing the uh, C1 Catapult, which is the variant that you saw me doing... Actually, one of the very first videos I did this of. It's a Founders Catapult. Uh, Founders mechs are basically uh, the people who pre-ordered the game. It was like a pre-order... I know it's a free-to-play game, but it was a pre-order package that you get a bunch of money and uh, one Founders mech, which was either an Atlas, a Jenner, I think maybe a Centurion or a Hunchback Funch, um, mech or whatever, and then, then the Catapult. And I obviously chose the Catapult because I'm very much into these sniper play styles. And um, today, uh, I have a mech here with uh, two ERPPCs and some uh, LRM10s to back it up. And it's kind of nice. Also, there's a new heat vision mode. Check this out. And also new night vision. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna blind myself if I use that. So my whole team is over there, and I see someone going far, back for the point. So in this guy, I have a 280 XL engine, a tag laser, which which helps me get a lock with my LRMs, as I'll show you a bit. Two LRM10s, which is actually surprisingly uh, very small, considering... Let me go. This is this guy. Is being captured. So, uh, all I'm doing right now is I'm just missling this X5 right here. And now I have a tag laser on him. And he's he's eating my, my missiles like hell. So, what do I use the missiles for? Um, basically, I was under the impression that... Um, oh, wow, our entire team's coming back here. I should have done that. Um, basically, I, I've, been, I've been under this... this I've always said that that missiles kind of suck, and I, there's, I'm still correct on that. However, um, this weekend there's actually been a um, uh, it's still this weekend. There's a Seville bonus whenever you play in a mech that's either a hero or a founder's mech, and and I'm like, okay, I have to play my founder's mech. This is like the perfect time to go find some playstyles that work. And I'm shooting these guys in the trees, and so I decided that you know. The thing is, I can't have just two PPCs, because if I have just two PPCs, then well then it's like my cicada, like, and the cicada is a medium. So I need something that, you know, ha has a bit more punch, because I am heavy after all. Fortunately, our whole team is now pushed back here because of that cap. Target acquired. And so, uh, I decided on this, I decided on a bit of a hybrid, and uh, basically I'm getting locks, and I'm firing missiles at people. And I think we'll be okay. No, I missed that. Okay. The, the problem is, though, that your missile uh, homing in, like, these are homing in rockets, and they only last for as long as you actually have a lock on people. And the way they work is, um, they're basically no-skill homing in weapons. That's, that's fundamentally what they are. Um, I'm not saying that they're, like, they're bad, but, like, you know, that's kind of what they are. Like, let's be honest, you're... The PVCs require a bit more, or gosses even, require a bit more uh, finesse in aiming. Whereas with LRMs, you can stand behind hills. So they've actually nerfed the crap out of it, opposed to other games. And um, basically, there's a lot of direct counters to it. Uh, ma uh, mainly the fact that you can just stand behind a hill, and like those guys behind the hill, do you notice how I'm not even firing at them? I do that for a good reason. And that reason is that, uh, I think that cicada's ours. I'm going to fire at that guy. Thing is, I'm just assuming based upon what he's firing at, I, I assume he knows. Warning. This guy's firing missiles at me. So, uh, once again, the counter to it. Okay, so when I'm being fired missiles at, I, I, I turn my arm just so my arm gets hit. And so he's doing minimal damage to my center torso. On the catapult, the center torso is very important, so I don't want to get hit by that. So yeah, the the, the L arms are basically dump fired missiles. They uh, they they're basically they're, there's not much of a dimension to them. So what you have to do is you they add is two things. They added something called Artemis, and Artemis increases the accuracy on missile weapons. Uh, And I have Artemis on these, so uh, I get a faster lock on time and better accuracy with them. 
And the other thing they added was the tag laser. And so the tag will allow me to shoot right through, uh, well, get lock on through um, ECMs, which is the thing that you saw that was like my, uh, like that, that was like my worst enemy for being a tag user, uh, sorry, for being an LRM user. Um, I'm also changing positions a whole lot. I apologize because I, I I keep getting into these positions where they're acquired. brawling over there. Fucking hell! I'm gonna go on that hillside over there. I, I, I'm like I'm I'm with my team over here. That's why I can't get many good shots off. It's great. This mech like if you can get a flank off with LRMs. Oh damn it! He moved up. Oh. The thing, the thing I like about having the PPCs is it adds a bit of a, uh, as I said, it, like, I never actually thought this, but, like, I was always very much into these specialization builds. Oh, sorry, yeah, the tag laser also increases accuracy, and, uh, and basically I have to hold it down on something, just to keep, keep that in mind. I have it on my right, right mouse button. Some people, like, jam down the butt, like, a button, or, like, use macros or something. I, I don't do that, so. I'm legit, no. Just kidding. Yeah. So this guy, I can't get a lock on. Unfortunately, it does not actually deem this as a place I can lock on to him from. So let me go move up here. Uh, sorry, what was I going to say? Um, so LRMs, like I've always been very much a boating kind of guy. Like, like not really boating, but like, yeah. Like, I, I like good heat efficiency, but I, I don't like, um, I think we're going to kill these guys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're dead. So I can now just move up. Uh, that's why, like, every time I do an LRM boat, uh, it sucks, and I'm like, fuck LRM boats, and so that, then I say, fuck LRMs, and that's, you know, as I said, that was not probably the best way of looking at it. I like this guy, because LRMs and ER PPCs, basically, I have very good heat management, so um, I can fire the PPCs a lot, get a lot of DPS off, and the LRMs don't generate much heat, and I, I can use them, I can, in, I can use them in conjunction with my, uh, with my, oh, well, we're done. You can use them in con conjunction with the PPCs when someone's out in the open and to just wreck them. It's really nice. But um, don't worry, I'll be showing you uh, a one alternate playstyle uh, after another game. So there we go. I actually didn't do that well, surprisingly. But I got all the money because it's a 50% bonus for this weekend. So that's kind of nice. I got a lot of assists off, but no, no kills. Hey, the same fucking map in the same starting place. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm just looping footage now. No, I'm just kidding. No, it just did put me on the same map, and I'm figuring might as well. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems. This is the only time I actually kind of wanted River City Night, so you can actually see like the new heat vision and stuff. Like it's it's not kind of black and white, and actually has a minimum range. Which actually I'll talk about that too. That's kind of an interesting topic. Like they changed it; they nerfed snipers because um, there's a certain distance where you can't actually see enemy mechs with the heat vision. If you saw me playing with it before, I kind of used it as a um, uh, an extreme long range, uh, like way like you just there's a blue target all the way in the distance, and you shoot at it. That's kind of what I used it for. Basically beyond, I think, about 500 to 600 meters, you can't see the target. And my ER PPCs go up to uh, 810, which is nice. So, um, what do I think about this? It nerfs snipers. What do I think about it? I like it. Why do I like it? Because it was honestly used against me as, like, whatever, like, other snipers could see me. And basically, uh, this now raises the skill gap, which is good for me. Because I actually have perceptual awareness, and I can, uh... Uh, and I might, I, I say that, and you might go like, Mike, you fucking missed something or whatever, acquired. but still. Alright, let me go fire some missiles at this guy. So, and then my missiles are now going to hit him, and there you go. That's why I only fire like one, because I know that usually they run away. And so, yeah. But anyways, yeah, so I have perceptual awareness, uh, and I can also see, like, you know, because I played a lot of tribes and shit like that, so, you know, I'm very good at, like, hitting, like, the little ant and the... Hi, Jenner. He's hiding behind a hill there, because I can't, I can't... Well, maybe he's not. I, all I see is a giant thing there, so I don't know why all these people are shooting at him. New target acquired. Goss and large lasers, all right. Oh, here we go. 
But I turned my torso there because I didn't want him to get a shot off. Usually when they're beside a hill, there, a hill though, I will not take the shot simply because. Uh, New target. Why is that Jenner still there? He's pissing me off. I'm like, I'm like, the Jenner man. New target acquired. Oh. I won't take a shot because I know that they'll just duck behind the hill as soon as I fire LRMs. I'm not here to waste ammo. I'm here to get shots. I'll, I'll know at least that. They, they'll, they'll panic if they're out in the open. Like, if they're not in good cover, then I'll, I'll take the shot. This one, I'm actually good. No, uh, that was a bad idea. I, I figured that these guys are fighting him. New target acquired. Warning, okay. Let me back off. Warning, incoming missile. That's what I mean. Like, you can just back off beyond a hill. Those all arms were a complete waste. Like he hit, he did hit me one time. New target acquired. And so um, I'm gonna try and get maybe a flank off, but I don't think it, that's gonna be a very realistic thing for me to do. New target now, acquired. Now the thing is, things like the tag and Artemis. Now um, I talked about them for a little bit, but I didn't really talk about them. And basically they're. Their, their benefits only apply if you have line of sight, which basically means you have to expose yourself to potentially energy snipers. And so you'll notice Artemis enabled uh, missiles have that little spin effect. If you see my missiles. Yeah, there you go. New target acquired. So I, I wasted those. I like to kill heavy uh, assaults with this. There you go. So basically he's out in the open. Let's just fire a couple. Oh shit, I got a kill. Nice. New target acquired. That's why I like the, the combination of these things. New target acquired. Yeah, let's get this dragon. Damn it. New target acquired. Yeah, he's got a nice hill there to hide behind. New target acquired. Now, the, the missiles have a maximum range of 180 meters. Why do I even bother firing these fucking missiles if he keeps hiding behind that rock? This is why I have the PPCs. They, these actually really complement each other. Because, you know, on these, on these hotter maps acquired. like this one... You're fucking with the wrong catapult. Oh, I missed that. Now, on these on these more heat, uh, on on these hotter maps, um, oh no, he's he's too close. There you go. Now I killed him. Oh hey, <laughs> I got I got two two of the last kills. That's great. This is what I mean, the PPC easily backs up your LRMs. So on these hotter maps and, you know, having the LRMs to spam uh, at someone in the open while you're trying to wait for your heat to go down is kind of nice. So, there you go. Not too shabby. So let's, uh, we'll change it up and do a different build uh, for next game. So, uh, what I'm gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start capping. And when I start capping, uh, this means that, uh, I can LRM people because they're, they're gonna be coming straight for me. But we're, we should be good. At 25%. Enemy base is being captured. Oh, uh, I think I okay, get my lock. Oh, uh, good, I'm in their cap now, which means that we might actually win this. Um, which is going to be the most bitch move ever in the history of Enemy bitch moves. Is being captured. Acquired. Are they really just focusing on that guy? Because um, the thing on this guy is I have a Base capture module. Like we will win this uh, if they don't if they don't come for us. Captured. Like I'm I'm just planning on LRMing people who come up to me. Like that's kind of that's kind of sad that like I, I wasn't too useful. But I'm useful when like we do this shit. <laughs> Because we, our team just got rolled here. You don't. You don't even understand. I'm, I can't believe I'm like jump sniping with the thing. Oh wow, we just won. Ha! Ah, we won. <laughs> oh, it's sad. Uh, I, I I can't show you this match. This is like. This is sad as hell. Dude, we got rolled and we still won.
Which means we just we just robbed them money. I didn't get to do anything on that map because it's just it's an energy sniping map. All right, uh, let's do another one. Hey, hey, now here's a map I can go excel on. It's a uh, Termaline Desert. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so it's a very hot map. Um, I've actually done another match with this exact mech I'm going to be showing you in a second. Um, it's It was on Alpine Peaks and it was a terrible match because um, Alpine Peaks is very much an energy sniping map. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems I'll give you the, nominal. I'll give you the cliff notes of that last match you displayed that you didn't, I didn't include in here. Um, I basically didn't do anything because... It's an energy snuffing map, everyone hides behind hills, and so I decided to do a flank near their base, and then our entire team got rolled, and then me and a spider went to go cap, and we actually capped it and won, even though they only lost one player, we lost six, which is <laughs> a rarity. Anyways, so this guy, um, I put the fastest engine I could on it, uh, and an ER large laser for exchange with, fuck. And I'm gonna tag the shit out of you. Anyways, um... Uh, for the exchange of uh, a few heat sinks and LRM 20s, instead I have LRM 15s and I sacrificed one block of ammo. So I have the same amount of ammo as I did with that first mech I showed you guys. So I go faster, still have the jump jets. And on, the, on a hot map like this, this is where actually missile users are supposed to excel because they do not generate a lot of heat, which means I can get far more DPS down. Now being, uh, being an LRM uh, boat, um, Actually, the best the best thing for me to do technically would probably be to flank, especially with the speed. And the reason I say flank is because um, unfortunately the entire team is going to follow me with this flank. So because I'm in the lead, uh, I was just planning on going off on my own uh, and just trying to get behind people. And if I flank, it's because they're they're hiding behind something what they think is cover, and then they they see missiles coming and they come back towards me, which has happened more than once. I don't see anybody there. But this is this is fast for this is the fastest uh, a heavy mech like mine target can go. Acquired. New target acquired. Ah, uh, this, this guy's so gonna make make it out of my range. Oh, it looks like most of my missiles died anyways. Okay. So the ER large laser, I kind of use it to sort of snipe. Um, it's not as good as an ER PPC for sniping and all that kind of shit. Jazz. Warning incoming. Holy result. shit. Yeah, I think they know I'm here, so I don't think I'll be able to fight over here. They they know our entire team is here. Fucking hell, you guys. Why do you have to why do I have to be such a a a, br a brilliant, stunning, good looking leader? Now, unfortunately, I can't use my tag. My tag has a maximum distance of about 750 meters. Uh, I'm only going to fire one volley off at this guy because I think he's... Yeah, he's, you see, he moved out of range immediately and all my missiles missed him, so... I got hit by a laser. Assholes. I want to flank, but I can't. New target acquired. Well, let's see if we can get this Jenner over here. Because this Jenner is an asshole. Oh my god. New target acquired. Okay, so I got a couple missiles off on that guy. He's got a Gauss there, so... Unfortunately, I have to keep New target staring acquired. at people like a moron. Damn it. Okay, I don't want to actually turn my back to that team, because of my back armor. Man, it's important. And I've actually taken a lot of damage on my, uh, my arms. More than I thought I did. Some guy just tried to LRM him from close range. You poor Jenner. What the hell are you doing? Get out of my way, Jenner. Fuck your legs. Ah, there we go. Okay, so my heat's kind of getting critical here, but... Uh, there's also a flame here. Oh god. Let me get out of here. Fuel at 25%. Hey, cool. I found a like, nice little uh, sniping roost. Damn. Acquired. I like this. Jump jets kick ass. Okay, so this one I'm going to just... Oh, fuck. I didn't even get to do anything on him. 
Okay, that one I'm that one I'm just gonna hang out in. Oh shit! I can't stay there. New target acquired. Yeah, I'm just trying to get my my bonus in. Uh oh, no, no, no! Go back, turn back, leave this leave this horrid place. So I'm just right now just LRMing boat from like up top. Oh, uh, he's got lasers. Uh, I'm not too concerned about that. Go fuck yourself. Get out of my way. Nah, I'm getting out of here. Help me, team. You're my only hope. Get this guy. Oh, there goes my, uh... My center torso armor. Hopefully, uh, he's having trouble getting me. Oh, that's it for me. Because fucking W mouse won by some dragon. Oh well. Oh, well, that's good enough for me. I, I shot off a good bit of this uh, mech off. Um, you know, that's the thing. It's just, you know, I, I, I would feel if I had the PPCs on, I'd be much better at defending myself. Because with the LRMs, it's very black and white. If, if they come within close range, that's it. You're done for, you know? And that's the problem with LRMs, is that they are black and white. There's, no, there's not a whole lot you can do to enhance your skill with them, kind of thing, like ER PPCs and PPCs. You can energy snipe, you can snipe people at close range, you can target components and things like that. LRMs are very spread out damage. You can't do that much with it, so... Um, I guess we'll just spec all right, these guys doing the rest of it. So my final thoughts is I still don't like... Uh, doing pure LRMs, but I like that first build I showed you, because I still get my PPCs, and I still get, uh, I still get LRMs, so I get, I get the best of both worlds, and that's what I think, I think, if you're, if you want, if you really like LRMs, I don't think, this is the one time I honestly will say that you should not specialize in LRMs ever, because uh, I think, you know, someone with four PPCs is probably better than what I'm doing right now, well, well, well what I was doing, the two PPCs and the LRMs. Simply because I have to expose myself so much, uh, and that's what the LRMs kind of require. Unless he has something spotting for you, but whatever. Anyways, that was um, that was the end of that match. And so, uh, uh, AC twenties and medium lasers. Damn, Jager Mech. That's it for that. So, uh, half decent match, not too bad. But at the same time, uh, I would only play that first variant, not not this guy. So I hope you enjoyed my LRMs, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, later. Bye.